Welcome back. That's right. We are back here on day nine of Coffee Talk. I've got my tea. I've got a massive goddamn fucking pimple on my face. Look at this thing. Look at this goddamn thing. It just... It stands out from my beautiful face. It's goddamn annoying. It's... It's just... Look, look at it. Look. <laughs> I can't let it bother me. Can't let it bother me too much. I have to get straight into the game. Let's go. I should move the camera just on this... On this side, on, on, on my left side, just so it doesn't um, show it. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome. Oh, good evening, sir. Who the hell is this? Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. Okay. May I help you? Heard reports of alien sightings in this area. No. We take this. Do we take the issue of legal interstellar immigration seriously? Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm, I don't think so. What should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. <laughs> but according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's, uh... A pretty eye-catching outfit. <laughs> You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that they've been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures after all. They give you up. I don't know about um, that word of superior. I, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> if you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Well, do, sir. I'm just going to quickly... Are you going to pop up on the... Oh, no, Neil. Neil's here. Okay. Um, who is Neil? Who is Neil, sir? Um, nobody. Neil is my good friend. <laughs> my good friend, Neil. <laughs> you don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Ooh, god damn. Woof! Uh, you really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? The hell's walking in? Ah! Good evening, Dante. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Welcome back to my... to my coffee shop. Don't no, no, stop! Look, stop looking at me! <laughs> I hate it so much, it's just like, it's so fucking huge on my face. That's what she said. <laughs> Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? No, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Sure. Green tea with a lot of mint. There you go, your green tea with a lot of mint. Your drink is ready. Ooh. This looks really fresh. It, I call this Marrakech. Is that how you say it? Marrakech? Inspired by its origins. Marrakech in Morocco. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Let's see it. Shoot. Oh my. That's the Milky Way. Marrakech, there it is. Fresh and healthy drink from Morocco. What the more you know? Oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> the more you go, them know. I'm more of like an English, a black tea kind of person. I don't like, I don't like herbal teas. Not a fan. I don't know what she said there. Uh, do you want to order right away? <clears throat> sure. What was she after? I'll have the Tertaric. Tertaric. Do I have that in? I, um... Are these in alphabetical order, by the way? Ooh, what's the Tertaric? Ooh. Um, I will, um... <laughs> two seconds! It's actually pretty simple. It's just TT and milk. Uh, that's, that's basically what I have. So I'm drinking a, tea t a Tertaric. Is that correct? 
I mean, it's just, it's black tea with a little bit of milk. It's tea, tea, and milk. Serve it. There you go. Here's your Ted Tarek. Huh? Is there something wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be. Wow, thank you. So much faith in me. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Ted Tarek you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Thank you. Where did you learn to make it? Uh, Google. <laughs> mm. Google, that's where I learned it. I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. I did? Wow. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes. And from videos on the internet. Hey! <laughs> that's where I learned <laughs> Not videos, just a goddamn page. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I don't know why, but they'd suit each other. I, I just, I kind of feel it. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. Yeah. The, um, what's it called? Is it, is it crunch or whatever? That, that's really bad in the video gaming industry at the moment. It's terrible. Look at that. I'm like f five, seven minutes into my video and I've already finished my tea. To make sure the game will be available for the holiday seasons. Because I made it like, like over ten minutes ago. Like before I started. I made it like ten minutes before I started recording. So it's already a little bit... It was starting to get cold. I want to say please don't forget to rest. Yeah. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and and the team. Ha. Huh. As if those executives care about us. Oh my god, this is like some real this is real life stuff. Overtime is not mandatory. They'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. Mm. But we all know that's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of crap. That optional overtime is a passive aggressive mood, yeah. <clears throat> we'll stay longer in the office anyways. If you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad to them. Mm. you feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. <laughs> For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even the things I shouldn't be feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. It still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Mm. That's that's like so many games nowadays. So many are just yeah. Like, you enjoy it, but man, it, you gotta appreciate those people that are putting all those hours into it. That's why nowadays, whenever a game gets um pushed back a bit, yeah, I'm a I'm like, I'm dis- uh, not, I don't know, it's I'm saddened, but I kind of, I kind of, you know, I'm not as, as pissed off, I was, I'm not like pissed off like I used to get, I'm like, oh, and now I'm like, uh, let them work on it, sorry I ruined the mood for everyone, no you didn't, don't worry about it, Aqua, I'm not that bad off, you know, at least the company gives us decent compensation, healthcare, bonuses, and so on. I'm already used to this, <laughs> so don't worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy work conditions shouldn't be a norm, no, it should not be. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be sh showcased at Max West. Is that meant to be PAX? <laughs> Is that meant to be PAX? <laughs> Is it a PAX? It's Max West this year. That's really good. PAX West. Let's call it PAX. Copyright reasons. I obviously can put that. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give your spot to another indie. I'm. I. I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost. The booth is free for indies. That's good. I, I don't think she, maybe she thinks that the game isn't far enough developed, and the events even in Seattle. 
You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. Uh, you pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you and you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry. Whoa. <laughs> when it comes to the gaming industry, hell yeah, man. Because there's so many, like, so many people developing games. They have to be very, like, yeah. And also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. But that's that's the best kind of games, the ones that are not traditional. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, yeah. And you'll be in the indie area. People know know what to expect there. Yeah, they know to expect the unexpected, that's what it is. Gamers aren't stupid, yeah. What if some haters visit the booth? Fuck them, man, you're you gonna get that. No matter what you do, you're always gonna get haters. What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? Stuff them, you don't need them. That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. <laughs> People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> oh, Myrtle. So, too true. Even after that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is the problem, yeah. I'll, I'll go with you. I mean, that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. Oh, well, would you look at the time? You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. Oh, that'd be so sweet. I don't want to scream. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then you shouldn't waste your time on me. No, no, no. She's offering, man. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. Sorry, I was just like, look, look at my, look what I did with my ring light. I was lined it up. There we go. <laughs> I'll be going to the event anyways. Might as well come with an exhibition, a badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us here. Big companies, I don't mean it. I could just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build, build ready? Expo build? You're not building to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. No, you can't do that. Don't. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta make a demo. Or like a, a demo exclusive for the ex, expo. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I continue the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Oh, is that Freya? Or is that Neil? Oh. Ah, oh, Miss Rachel. Hi, Dante. Oh, she doesn't look very good. Hmm. What's wrong here? Yeah. Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. Ooh! They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this... Announced this late are... Uh, uh, backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Oh. Um. Phone? Phone? Chocolate, honey, milk. Chocolate, honey, milk. Milk. Okay. I think this is the one. Uh, here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Ah, oh, sweet. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. No problemo. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got more with her. More from Myrtle. And then we got a new drink! Oh, and we also got the tea Tarek. Other than the instructions on the loading screen. <coughs> try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break the, their immersion? Probably. But in case there's a good reaction to it. You might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to m make them wait too long. Yes. It's true. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, <coughs> try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. I wonder what, what kind of game it is if it's on their phone. Dad? What are you doing here? Uh oh. After what you did at the studio this evening, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Oh, nose is like just leaking. It's like a tap. More sounds. And you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Dante. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. <clears throat> you are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Do, do, do. He is kind of like that. He's overprotective. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara. Ooh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Do I have that? Um, Spanish Sahara. No, I do not. Sounds delicious. Yes, it does. I'll take the Spanish Sahara. Okay. So it's easy. It's just chocolate. Milk and ginger. Yay. Is that like a Spanish donut that's in <laughs> that's inside of it? Where did that Spanish donut come from? Spanish Zara, there we go. And I think we also got um we get more information on our man here, on Hen Hendry. Yes. And little Rachel, that's so cute. Drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad? Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left... He's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. Where is Freya tonight? She's missing out on a lot. Oh, like a lot. <laughs> What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? Yes. Yes. You're just too young to understand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, it's the, it's the intense slides. I've only, I think we've only seen this like once or twice before. They make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mum? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I, I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder! I don't want to yell, it's very late at night. <laughs> People are sleeping. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you. I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy, no. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. 
Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. It's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Wow. Wow, man. It's fire out. Their relationship's not good, man. It's really not. Excuse me for a moment, Dante. No, that's fine, man. Take your time. Take your time. Don't be sorry, man. Let's do what you gotta do, brother. Damn, poor. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our business anyways. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> That's why I love these. I think these two. I love these two, man. They're just polar opposites. I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, <clears throat> especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Nah. <laughs> no, I was listening. I, I made notes. <laughs> See? <laughs> you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it. It happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Dante, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks as usual. Oh, good. Please take care on your way home. Yes, please do, ladies. No Freya? Is this the first day without Freya? It's all for two. Eh? Eh? Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's Hendry. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you right, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're alright. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes. I had arguments with Miss Rachel. Something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning, the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. Oh well, yeah, with Spice Girls and stuff like that, and um, what's Beyonce's one? Yeah, Beyonce's one. They were huge in the 90s. Can't remember it now. Damn it! <laughs> I was still enjoying the, the leftover sensation of the past uh, decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. Yeah. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst of it, yeah. Teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point, where they st started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault, yeah. It was before the internet, mind you. Mm. I mean, the internet existed. Yeah, it was. The internet was not the internet in uh, the year 2000. And compared the internet to 2000 to now, I think it was still AOL at that time. Dial up. But it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse. But it haunted me. It was everywhere. 
Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, <coughs> but they love us for it. <laughs> it's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the mu music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. <laughs> We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Dante. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it, mate. We get the craziest thing here. Freya started the fight not too long ago with that the vampire guy. Or well, he started it, whatever. They both. They both started it. <laughs> that no Freya! Oh no! This is day one without without Freya. Oh how? I I love Freya though. <clears throat> and that's it. That's that's coffee talk, right there. For day nine, is finished. That's gonna have to do it right there for this video for today. So if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like and as always subscribe for more and I hope to see you in my next video of Coffee Talk or whatever the hell it may be. Ladders.